Hello, I'm Gus. And I'm Lou. Welcome to our YouTube channel. We're going to be showing you some of our techniques and demonstrating some of our work for you. Don't forget to press like and subscribe. Hello everyone. Today we're looking at crop circle images. And this is a, a painting I did a long time ago in 1991 of an actual crop circle from Shropshire in England. And it seems to contain, along with other things I've added, such as the pyramid and a little patina, but basically the pattern is from an original Shropshire crop circle and it contains this 1111 which I see is recurring and, and on people's minds right now and I'm not quite sure why. These are huge things that have been occurring and, and uh, arriving in the middle of the night in, in England in the fields and the, the kind of unexplained really, rather interesting designs, but from a point of view of the design of them, they're really nice. They're much more complicated in, if you look at 2019's crop circles for instance, you'll see they're quite detailed, beautiful designs. This is quite a simple one, but anyway that was 30 years ago. So I continue to be inspired by these things that I see and um, I've made mosaics such as that one and um, it's just a derivation of the same crop circle style but in a mosaic, a different medium and this is a more abstract version of the same type of thing and um, it seems to have some sort of interesting spatial quality, if you could call it that. Maybe they come from outer space. So they're, they're outdoor, um, <laughs> outdoor images and these are huge images in the fields that um, they're found in and they seem to be never-ending. There's have a look at 2019's crop circles. They seem to get more intricate and more detailed. This is quite a simple, simple version, but this was 30 years ago. And the mosaic is inspired by the same image with 1111 in it as well. Look out for that.